hello everyone this is uh, shiva from soundbox irrigation design services so i remember one thing that we have discussed about the uh, smart irrigation in the previous month so we have discussed a lot of things such as uh, how to measure the evapotranspiration how to measure the soil moisture content using gravimetric method and volumetric method so today i am going to discuss about different types of soil uh, available in this planet so hope you will enjoy this topic and if you have any doubts please don't hesitate to ask me so let's get into the topic so i just want to uh, show you this picture i you, you i showed you this picture earlier in this month but uh, i just again want to show you this because this is very very important uh, triangle to calculate the uh, soil texture there are different types of soils are uh, available in the world for it uh, but uh, in terms of soil moisture uh, holding capacity this uh, soil texture is very very essential to uh, measure the soil moisture content holding capacity so as we know this there are different types of soil one is clay sandy clay sandy clay loam sandy clay loam sand, loamy sand sands loam silt loam silt silt clay loam silty clay 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 loam so that so i have just they have uh, just shown us the different types of soils in terms of soil texture so they varies according to the uh, um, percentage of clay silt and sand particles so i am just going to discuss about what is clay and what is silt and what is sand and what's their diameter so i am just going to tell you the uh, different types of values for each uh, soil aggregates so yeah uh, this is very coarse sand and this is coarse sand this is me i as i said before uh, there are uh, different types of soil aggregates are available uh, these four things uh, comes under sand and this is silt and this is clay so and the respective diameters of each soil aggregates ha are given in this side so very coarse sand it, the size is 2 to 1 mm and coarse sand 1 to 0 0.50 mm millimeter medium sand 0 0.5 to and very fine sand 0 0.25 to 0 0.1 and uh, so from uh, maximum value to uh, small value they have arranged this uh, uh, soil texture but generally this sand all comes under the category of uh, uh, the sand like very coarse and there are different divisions are available in the within the sand groups but they have discussed uh, they have just varied various variates everything in the in five five different models but we are all we all we consider this as a sand so sand generally comes from 0 0.5 0 0.5 millimeter to 2 millimeter in sizes so this is the sizes for different soil aggregates and yeah as i have discussed the uh, said the size range for sands considered broad, broadly compares the entire range from very coarse sand to very fine sand so yeah uh, i'm going to discuss about uh, why this soil uh, texture is very very important and how to calculate this uh, so soil texture is very important in uh, uh, for various purposes according to the uh, work for example in the irrigation side we need uh, we need to determine the water holding capacity it majorly depends on the soil texture uh, for example in the construction field uh, um, coarse so coarse sand they measure the uh, bulk density depends upon the soil texture so uh, for, for example bulk density of the soil uh, sand is very good for the construction so we need to measure this uh, yeah uh, so as i said earlier this is sand sand we can just measure the sand in in our very own hand because we can see the different of soil particles in our uh, very naked eye so we don't need to any microscope uh, or any other uh, lens to just visualize the small minute particles of this sand because we can easily see this with our uh, uh, free eyes so so this is sand as i said earlier sand has been separated into five categories coarse sand sand fine sand very fine sand so it ranges from 2 to 0 0.5 mm sizes so i have discussed that other uh, different types of soils are available according to this uh, uh, sand particles so according to the uh, soil texture 
so this side uh, this is clay loam clay loam consists of soil material having most even distribution of sand so again it depends upon the percentage of sand silt and clay available in the soil um next apart from the sand silt and clay there is some coarse fragments and rock rolls. what sometimes the soil has um or uh, textures which has more than 2 cm 2 mm so that sometimes called as uh, pebbles or cobblestones or stones or boulders uh, as i have uh, highlighted here so there are uh, different soil particles which is more than 2 mm is present in the soil do present in the soil uh, so rock fragments which we consider which are which have whatever the particle which has more than 25 centimeter sizes so we consider that as a rock fragments and even 38 centimeter rock fragments are also considered as the uh, uh, rock fragments next yeah next apart from the soil textures we also need to uh, look up look into the organic soils organic soils means in the sense we there is some uh, plant and animal remains like uh, there we humans or uh, cow dungs or human waste or cow dungs these are all are considered as the organic materials which is present in the which is present in the uh, soil so there are different types of soils or uh, organic compounds are available in the soil so we need to look into that uh, uh, that material and yeah one more thing the soil texture uh, does not show us these things that is cementation for example uh, cementation in the sense we know we have uh, sands in the top layer but below the top layer we know the impermeable layer which doesn't allow the water in water to penetrate into the soil which which is formed base basically because of the uh, coating of sand by naturally occurring with this organic water the aluminum acid which tightly uh, bind the sand particles together which does not allow the water to pass into the uh, deep layer so we need to uh, eliminate this otherwise the top layer of the uh, soils gets eroded by the runoff so human activity majorly human activities affect the permeability of the soil so for example when you are plowing the fleet of uh, plowing the field uh, with the help of tractors or animals in olden days but uh, this leads to the compaction below the few inches of soil so we need to remove the co compaction of soil with the help of the subsoiler so which drastically uh, removes the impermeable layer below the soil so we need to uh, aware about the impermeable layer beneath the soil uh, and comparison with the engineering classification system so it has we are we have two soil classification system that is usda texture which we have discussed recently and one more thing is uh american association of state highway and stone and official they do consider some other factors such as liquid limit and plasticity index this these, these things they take into consideration to determine the construction so hope you have got some knowledge about this uh, uh like uh different types of soil texture and soil classifications i just want to again show you this picture uh, so we need to measure this amount of percentage uh, present in the different types of soil we just need to take the soil from one place and just measure this and shake this inside the bottle and let the soil aggregate to settle soil which has soil particles which has high density settle first and clay which has low density settle at last so we can easily find the uh soil texture with the traditional method of method with the help of uh, uh water water bottle method so it's very simple so if you have any doubts so kindly ask me so we will meet again in the next uh session so thank you for joining today bye bye